Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Tawal Mehta and today we will understand how to run quantile regression in eViews. Quantile regression is a type of a regression analysis used to estimate the relationship between variables for different quantiles or percentiles of the conditional distribution of the dependent variable. Unlike ordinary least square regression, which estimates the mean of the dependent variable given the independent variables. So you can see here, it estimates the mean. Quantile regression provides a more comprehensive view by estimating the conditional median or other quantiles. So here is it, 25th percentile, 75th percentile. Advantages of quantile regression handles outliers. Unlike OLS, that is ordinary least square, which is sensitive to outliers, quantile regression can provide insights into the different parts of the distribution, especially when outliers exist in the data. Heterogeneity Quantile regression helps to explore the heterogeneous effects of predictors across different quantiles of the outcome variable, which is useful in the real-world scenarios where relationships are not uniform across the distribution. Robustness it is more robust in capturing the variation in the dependent variable, particularly in cases where relationships differ across quantiles, such as, such as in asymmetric or skewed distributions. Layman example. Quantile regression helps to analyze how study hours impact students' exam scores at different performance level, not just the average. For example, 25th percentile lower performing students. Each extra study hour increases scores by 3 points. 58th percentile, the median students. Score increases by 5 points. That is, each extra study hour, the score increases by 5 points. 75th percentile, top performing students. Each extra study hour increases the scores by 8 points. It shows that top per performers benefit more studying than lower performers, providing a fuller picture than the average-based average, average -based methods. Applications of Quantile Regression, Economic and Finance Quantile regression is widely used to study income distributions and wage determinants across different income groups. For instance, it can reveal how education, experience or gender effect affects the lower, middle and upper quantiles of income differently. Credit risk modeling. Banks and financial institutions use quantile regression to predict the credit risk across different risk levels, allowing them to target policies for high and low risk borrowers more effectively. Treatment effects. Quantile regression helps assess the impact of medical treatments on different segments of the populations, such as how the drug affects patients with mild, moderate, or severe symptoms differently. Climate change impact. Quantile regression can be used to understand how climate variables that is temperature and rainfall impact different aspects of an e ecosystem across extremes such as how drought affects low and high yield agricultural land differently. Real estate. Quantile regression helps analyze how factors like locations, house size, and amenities affect housing price across different price segments. That is, the example is affordable, middle, and luxury homes. For example, the impact of proximity to schools or parks may vary for houses in different price brackets. Marketing and business. Quantile regression is used to analyze how different factors such as price, promotions, brand loyalty, influence spending across various customer segments such as low, medium and high spending customers. Now let's see how we can do this in eViews. So here we are having a data which consists of year, GDP, capital, employment. The data is from 1955 to 1974. We'll go in quick estimate equation. So first we will run the full model. That is a model which estimates the mean. So I'll write down GDP. C, capital, and employment.
click OK. So these are the results. So I have copied this result on the slide for the interpretation purpose. You can see here. Capital. The coefficient is 0 0.5119. Meaning a one unit increase in capital is associated with 0.511 unit increase in GDP. This is highly significant as the p-value is less than 0 0.05. This one, see this p-value. Employment. The coefficient for employment is 7.46, meaning one unit increase in employment is associated with 7.46 unit increase in GDP, which is statistically significant as the p-value is 0 0.0106 which is less than 0 0.05 OLS that is the ordinary least square assumes that the effects of capital and employment on GDP are same across all the quantiles meaning the relationship between these variables is constant throughout the distribution of GDP so this cannot be the case and that's the reason we go for the quantile regression now let's see how we can introduce these effects again I will go and estimate and from here, activate quantile regression. Now in this, we want to estimate for the 25th percentile. So write on 0.25 and click OK. And you got the results. Now we will have a, we will have a different uh, coefficients. See here. And tau, this is 0.25. Now let's do the interpretation for this. So the quantile regression, tau 0.25 means 25th percentile. Capital, employment. The coefficient for capital is 0.4894, meaning that for lower GDP values, a one unit increase in capital is, is associated, associated with 0.4894 unit increase in GDP. Here is it. This is highly significant as the p-value is less than 0 0.05. Employment. The coefficient is 9.06, suggesting that the employment has a slightly higher impact on GDP in the lower, lower quartile compared to LS. However, this is not statistically significant. See the p-value. So at 0.25 quantile, capital significantly impacts GDP, while Employment's impact is positive but not significant. This implies this implies that for lower GDP values, capital investments are more important for growth. Now we will see the quantile regression at 15, 58 percentile, which is median. Again, I will go and estimate and I'll change this number to 2.5. Click OK. coefficients have changed. Let's do the interpretation. Quantile regression, tau 0.5. So you can see the same thing here also. Uh, tau is at 0.5. Yeah, here is it. Median. Now let's do the interpretation. Capital and employment. The coefficient for capital is 0 0.4683. Meaning that for the median 0.5 quantile, a one unit increase in capital is associated, associated with 0.4683 unit increase in GDP. This is statistically significant as the p-value is less than 0 0.05. See the p-value. Employment. The employment coefficient is 10.43 but it is not statistically significant as the p-value is more than 0 0.05. At the median GDP. That is at 58 percentile. Capital remains a strong driver of GDP growth, while employment, though positive, is not statistically significant factor. Now we will see at 75th percentile. Again, estimate, and in this, make this as 0 0.75, and this is the coefficient. Now let's do the interpretation. At quantile regression, tau is 0.75. You can see this. So these are the coefficients. 
the coefficient for capital is 0 0.3898 which is statistically significant as the p value is less than 0 0.05 this shows that for higher gdp values that is upper 75 percent of the distribution capital still positively affects gdp although its effect is smaller than in lower quantiles employment the employment coefficient is 16.58 meaning that for a higher gdp values a one unit increase in employment is associated with 16.58 unit increase in gdp this is statistically significant as the p value is less than 0 0.05 so for the upper quantile 0 0.75 both capital and employment significantly influence gdp employment plays a much larger role in driving gdp at a higher levels compared to the lower quantiles conclusions for capital across all quantiles capital consistently has a positive and statistically significant effect on gdp however its impact is stronger for lower gdp values that is 0.25 and 0.5 quantiles compared to higher levels 0.75 quantile where employment starts playing a dominant role employment employment has a stronger impact on gdp at higher quantiles that is 0.75 quantile where it is statistically significant this suggests that for economics with higher gdp employment becomes a crucial factor in sustaining growth whereas for lower and medium G median gdp levels employment's impact is weaker and not always significant policy implications for lower income economics or those in the lower gdp quantile capital investments are essential for stimulating growth for middle income economics capital remains important but employment policies could be targeted to enhance their impact on gdp for higher income economics employment becomes critical and policies focusing on job creation skill development and employment growth will have the more sub substantial impact on gdp so this was all about how to run quantile regression in eviews for more videos on econometric analysis using eviews kindly subscribe to my channel you can also refer my playlist in which i uploaded videos on data science machine learning and artificial intelligence please don't forget to like and share my videos you can also follow me on different social medias link given in the description box